Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Lipus Reptiles and I am not standing in my normal spot because today is the day we're going to share large swaths of our collection with you in the next couple of videos. We find the easiest way to do that is just to do it while we're feeding. Why is that? Because when we're feeding we go through and see every snake. So you get to see every snake with us, hear a little bit about it, and we're going to feed it. Um, that being said, we do feed live. We don't do feed videos constantly, we do do them occasionally. If you don't want to watch a live feeding, I understand. You can go ahead and just see yourself out of here. It's okay, no harm, no foul. I'm not going to make fun of you. It's cool. But what you don't need to do is go in the comments and be a jackass and tell me how terrible I am. I warned you, if you chose to stay around, that's on you. It's kind of like if somebody says, hey, if you stand right there, I'm going to kick you in the nuts. And then you stand right there and you get kicked in the nuts. They told you. So if you don't want to get kicked in the nuts, leave. If you want to see some snakes eat, because it is a live feeding, of, I'll get to that point, rodents in a minute, you're going to see that in this video. You're also going to see a lot of really cool snakes, which is really what the point of it is. Uh, you may hear me use, and most people are going to think this is stupid, I have to say this because, believe it or not, it came up once. You may hear me use the word like, pup. I want to express myself. That is a size of rat. It's not an actual puppy dog. We only feed captive bred rodents bred for the purpose of feeding to our snakes that's it so we use rats we use mice and we use what's known as an african soft fur rodent those three things that's the feed we use nothing else so if you hear the word pup we're referring to a rat size and if you don't know what that is then you probably shouldn't be watching reptile feeding videos anyway all right so let's go ahead and get started Maybe so those over there I'm going to do these over here first, if that's all right. Oh, Kurt was confused. He thought I was doing the other rack first. That'll be the next video or later in this video. I don't know. Uh, why is this coat rack here? I hate this coat rack. We're going to throw this in the garbage. It came with the house. It's just some junk I'm holding on to for no apparent reason. Does that end come off? Or does it just spin in circles like stupidity? It just spins in circles like stupidity. I just think you stuck it over here to make me hate it so I would get rid of it. I think that's what you did. Uh, so we're going to be using a lot of our smaller rodents for these guys. These are all going to be holdbacks uh, from not very many from this. See, I haven't moved my holdbacks over. There's a few of them. But a lot from last year, so we're going to get pretty good size. So we'll always feed these babies first. Then when I feed the babies, and this is what you should do in your collection too, I'm going to sell. Uh, I'm a little bit less judicious on the size. I want to make sure these are growing at a certain rate so they get hand-picked first. So these would be the Hellfire collection, which we've referred to as like pastel-like. They're getting pretty good size on them now. Oh, that one didn't eat from last week. That's not good. I thought you ate that. That's horrid. Ew. So since it didn't eat from last week, close that up. What we'll do is we'll offer a different type of food and then we'll get rid of that. So also with babies, I tend to leave the food in there to give them a chance to eat. Uh, occasionally you'll get that over here. We have this one's doing really good. So we'll give it a good size meal here, right here. Here you go, little buddy. Bloop. And bam, done and done. Now this is one of the ones that's a blitz combo with the Hellfire. Also been eating very good. We'll give it a good size meal. Hey, buddy. Here, don't bite my finger. Let me get you out your water dish. <laughs> Then over here we have just a straight Hellfire, or pastel light, whatever you want to call it right now. As you can see, most of them are feeding really, really well. We'll close you up and check you in a second. And another one. Look at that thing. Don't bite me in the face. Don't bite me in the face. Please, please, please don't bite me in the face. You going to go get that right now? Maybe? Thinking about it? Yes? Oh, you kind of bit at it and missed it. You'll figure it out. Then over here, this is the smallest one probably of the bunch, but uh, it does feed well as well. It just took a little longer to get rolling as good as some of the other ones. But as you can see, it's already looking for its dinner. Oh, it touched you. I know. Yeah, I say it's the smallest one, but you can see it's certainly not small. So check on it in a minute. This is a hold back from this year. So this is a little killer zebra bee. And so we're still doing pretty small meals with it. Uh, but 
I do believe it can probably handle something like this. Okay, so I'll put that in there. And then for a great comparison, this is a what we know to be a Exantic Spider Pastel, we think Fire slash Yellow Belly. Who was that? That was you. When you hear that and you get a chance to check them, because if it's in the water like that, it probably will not eat it. So just take it out of the water, no problem. I feed you already? I did, but you haven't eaten that yet. So for this one here, it's a little bit smaller. We're going to go with this little mouse hopper right there. Boop. That's actually you know, getting close to being a small adult. And we'll check that one in a minute. This is a pie we held back. This was a really small pie. We started to see it just shed. It's doing great. Shed had a really gross, nasty poop. Thanks, buddy. That's just what I wanted you to do. You'll eat out of my hand. Bloop. This thing's got good size to it. This in shed right now. We're going to go ahead and drop it. That one. And that's a champagne yellow belly pastel female. That uh, It's actually about ready to graduate from that tub sized. We get over here. We're going to run into a queen bee head exantic. Now this is one that took me a lot of time to really get to going well. Uh, but it is doing wonderful right now. So it was a little bit of a slow starter. And you can see it's doing great now. So boom, boom. Pastel Calico Blitz head exantic right here. Um, this is a cool snake. It's been a pretty good feeder, kind of off and on, and it skipped on me last week. So we're going to go with the mouse for it, trying to get it back running. Because sometimes it's a food item or size, and just a, a change in that will get a snake back going. That's kind of the same reason why we switched up what we used there. As you can see, it's showing a good amount of interest, and bam, it's going to probably eat. It's close to the water dish. I don't want it to drop in there, so we're going to just go ahead and move it here. Down here, we get to an ivory. Now this thing eats great, so... We can just, hey, you want this? Here you go. As soon as it sees it, it'll be like, whoop, 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 confusion, confusion. Hey, there you go. <laughs> and again, same thing, we'll slide it back a little bit. The Mardi Gras has been a finicky eater. You can see it's doing good, looks great. Hasn't been the best eater as of late. So what we're going to go with for it is, uh, again, too small of a meal. But sometimes doing too small of a meal will help one that's gotten off track and a little shy to get back to feeding. So we'll see if we can't get that thing back going with a small meal, get its confidence back because something probably freaked it out at some point. And uh, if we can do that, then we can get that thing back a little way. And last but not least is this here, which is a super pastel, super pastel calico, also head exantic. Bloop. Go track it down and we'll go ahead and just kind of close that up we'll do a really quick check this one hasn't got its little mouse yet and it may not i'll need to keep an eyeball on that one that one's eating that one hasn't found it but it will look at the colors on that snake though that is an awesome snake and that food item the reason we can leave it in there if you look it's not big enough to do any damage to the snake so you really have no worries about that that one's eating 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 told you to find that one not eating interested and that's going up in size so that one we'll see how it's going same with this one interested but hasn't eaten that mouse yet we want to keep the mouse from falling into the water because I've had that happen that's not fun eating not eating yet but it's moved to the back if you look at that eye though, that snake is in shed. So if it doesn't eat this one, that's not something I'm going to worry about too much. We'll move the rat back closer to it. Eating. 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 Or killed it. Look at that. Eating. That's one that's been a little bit difficult. That's why you go to that smaller meal. And last but not least, eating. So that wraps up that rack. And do you want to do the next one in a new video or just keep on rolling? New video on the next one. So if you enjoyed that, our next rack will be the one that Kurt's currently leaning against to make himself feel taller than me for a different camera angle. It's going to contain a lot of our breeding males and last year's holdbacks and some grow-ups. It's our FB20 rack. 
It's going to be a lot bigger rack than this, so get ready to see that. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.